Repeated cocaine administration induces gene expression changes through dopamine D1 receptors, presented by Mariam Depolito and Mesoza. Drug addiction is defined as compulsive seeking taken of drugs despite adverse consequences. Repeated use of psychoactive drugs such as cocaine has been thought to permanently alter brain chemistry and how it works. The basis of the study we have chosen is that repeated administration of cocaine to mice induces changes in the way the gene is expressed through dopamine D1 receptors. The neurological workings of cocaine is associated with dopaminergic system that consists of dopamine or DA neurons which are found in the midbrain region which are projected to a few brain regions including the nucleus accumbens and the caudoputamen. Drugs of abuse such as cocaine can increase synaptic levels of DA neurons. The D1 receptor is found in both caudoputamen and nucleus accumbens, areas in the brain which mediate the effects of cocaine. The aim of the study is to have a deeper insight on how the effects of behaviour of constant cocaine abuse correlates to the change of gene expression through the D1 receptor. The mice were injected with cocaine at 30 mg per kilogram twice a day for 7 days. The two types of mice were used were the D1 receptor mutant mice and wild type mice and saline injected mice as a control for baseline differences. RNA isolation was used to identify chronic cocaine-induced gene expression changes. The main focus of this method was on the caudoputamen where robust cocaine-induced changes occur. To avoid the problem of identifying acute cocaine-induced genes, the RNA was isolated from the treated mice 24 hours after the last dose. The mice were then decapitated and the caudoputamen tissues were dissected and homogenized. The RNA was then extracted and examined to determine quantity and quality through optical density readings and gel electrophoresis. Analysis of RNA were done in three different techniques, sample labeling, microarray hybridization and image scanning. 10 micrograms of total RNA from individual mice were used to synthesize cDNAs that were used as templates for cRNA. Software was then used to calculate raw expression value of each gene. Quality of RNA was further examined by 3' prime and 5' prime ratios for actin. A linear scaling procedure was performed and using this test the genotypes were identified and determined to see if there was any difference between saline control and cocaine treated individuals. The results of the study that we have chosen gave us an insight on how gene expression changes after cocaine use. It was found that the repeated cocaine injection in the mice induced constant changes in the behaviour caused by neuronal plasticity and changes in gene expression in the dopamine 1 receptors, which were cocaine induced. The study used the microarray method to determine the chronic cocaine induced gene expression differences in the two types of mice 24 hours after the last dose. It was found that 109 genes expressed a, different, a difference in cocaine-induced expression and no difference in the saline-induced expression between wild-type and dopamine-1 receptor mutant mice after a week of injections. The genes in the caudoputamine in the D1 receptors mutant mice were either upregulated or downregulated compared in the wild-type mice due to the cocaine exposure. With silent treatment, 395 genes revealed a 1.2-fold different expression in both wild-type and D1 receptor mutation mice. The difference in some genes between D1 receptor mutant and wild-type mice added up to the cocaine-induced differences. In identifying cro chronic cocaine-induced long-lasting neuroplastic changes in the brain, the research group found that the changes in expression of isoform of the serin-threonine kinase CAMK2 and sigma isoforms also altered the responsiveness of the D1 receptor expressing neurons to further brain stimulation. To conclude, it was found that the D1 receptor antagonist, SCH, blocked cocaine-induced changes, and CD2 expression in the caudoputamen. These results are completely parallel to those obtained from this study. This suggests that 
Gene expression changes are indeed induced by chronic cocaine administration rather than the compensatory effects produced by the dopamine 1 receptors gene mutation. Finally, this study has provided us with a novel insight into the molecular basis of the persistence of drug dependence that we already know about in terms of behaviour.